Hello Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for mid-January. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. Okay, I was trying to be sneaky and I've been trying to place the oracle cards the other way and flip them over as and when I need to. But yeah, this one wanted to show itself. Time to go. Something that you need to release, but we will get to it. Finally, let's get you your last one. Now, I'm going to be looking at sources of abundance for you in the first row. Sources of love in the second and um, any silver linings that you can look forward to. All right. <clears throat> All right. Sorry about the pause. Let's see what we have for your sources of abundance, Scorpio. We have the Page of Swords. Oh, lots of swords energy. We have the King of Swords. I can't believe it. <laughs> and the Queen of Swords. What are the odds, man? Eight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Justice, the Moon, Seven of Pentacles. That is a lot of swords. Some of you may be in communications in the travel industry. It is possible. What do we have right here? We have lighten up last quarter moon in Leo. Okay, now swords energy in the tarot is very mental energy. Okay, it can be a whole lot of overthinking, a whole lot of contemplating, if but, ifs, buts and maybes. This is common right now because Mercury is retrograding and because it is retrograding in Capricorn, which talks about our career, our income, our public image. With the Page of Swords, I feel like you are learning, okay? You are curious about how to grow either your business, how to grow in your particular job or whatever it may be. But with the King and the Queen of Swords, I feel like a few of you are very cutting in your approach. There's no softness here. I'm not asking you to be soft, okay? But when Mercury and Mars are both retrograding, and Mars is retrograding in Gemini, sorry about all the astrology, but I need to explain this to you, to explain the energy. Mars retrograding in Gemini makes us very combative. It makes us argumentative, right? Not just us, but the people that we are dealing with. So if you find yourself in a whole lot of conflict where you feel like you have to constantly um, draw boundaries and where you have to constantly defend yourself I feel like it's time to lighten up because not only are the planets going direct very soon but you need to understand that it's the planetary energy that is affecting your psyche and nothing else but um, just keep your head down and work focus on what's important right focus on your growth because that's what the Hierophant does now I should mention that the Hierophant has three levels to his crown Right? This talks about initiation, apprenticeship and mastery. But you see how beautifully you have most of the suits. You're missing the knight of swords. But there's a sort of elevation that wants to happen here. I'm getting a slightly cutthroat energy. I'll be very frank with you, Scorpio. I feel like some of you want to level up so badly that you're, you're willing to cut out anything and everything that gets in your way. I see it happening though. I see that leveling up happening for sure. But just make sure you stay authentic to yourself because the Hierophant talks about tradition. What do we have? We have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, so we need to soften up a little bit. We need to lighten up a little bit, right? So if you're approaching something with the sole purpose of I need to be better than so-and-so, my business needs to do better than so-and-so, my turnover needs to be better than so-and-so's. You know, my bonus needs to be bigger than so-and-so's. Let's soften that up. Ask yourself that, all right, if you get a higher pay package, is it, are you getting enough joy in this? Are you getting enough emotional stimulation in this, right? And are you cutting out people who actually don't really have your worst interest at heart? They actually care, right? So there is something about being kinder, not just to the people around you, but being kinder to yourself. We have the star. Now, the star is again, you have a lot of air happening here. The star is Aquarius energy. Venus is in Aquarius right now. Venus doesn't only rule our uh, love lives, it rules finances as well. When Venus is in Aquarius, not only does it make us more detached as people, it also makes us very creative, very innovative, right? 
I can't really show the the figure because of well censoring issues um, but you see that giant star there's something that you are really good at Scorpio I don't know if you are tapping into that talent or you're just you know becoming one with the herd there's something that is making you stand out from the rest you need to focus on that and hone on those skills not only will that make your heart happy it'll make your wallet happy as well the star card can also talk about isolation so it's possible that if you've been well interacting with people who are bringing out that combative side of you distance yourself just a little bit because the king of swords i don't read reversals but i have to address the energy they come with right keeping the other cards in mind so the king of swords if this was in reverse which i feel like it should be this is anger it is irritability okay so we need to bring a little bit of peace meditate just a tiny bit all right do a short 10 minute meditation for anxiety or anger okay we have the three of wands you're waiting for something okay you are manifesting something now the king of swords like i said can be very sharp and cutting the queen of swords does have a softer tendency okay i'm not going to say she's the queen of cups but you see those clouds right here those clouds represent instability they represent irritability they represent not being able to focus right her sword her truth is well way above those clouds and she's put her hand out almost asking the universe to well give her whatever it is that she deserves whatever it is that she wants you see that butterfly right here that is a sign of transformation okay and she also has rosary beads on her wrist i don't usually notice all these things but the queen of swords is not just um a very sharp and intelligent queen no gender and tarot she's also a very pious and spiritual queen right she is somebody who believes in the power of manifestation so i feel like you have your eyes set on something let's see what this could be Ugh, the nine of swords so many swords in here scorpio you're getting in your own way my friend you are getting in your own way because you're in your head a lot right now when we manifest from this place of i'm not going to get it this is too much of a burden you shoo your manifestation away it's almost like it's there it's knocking at your door and you're not even looking at it because you're so hell-bent that it's not going to happen for you this is not going to resonate for everyone but there is a sense of uh preemptive sadness preemptive loss the moon the seven of pentacles the page of cups the knight of swords the last swords the last court card in the sword suit the yes yeah, so you see you're walking away even before the universe can grant you this victory i would say if you are experiencing any kind of delays or frustration in your abundance in your finances in career growth and success wait i beg of you i have been experiencing this as well and i have scorpio in my eighth house of shared resources trust me things are all over the place because the sky is all over the place let these planets come back online you will have more optimism i promise you that jupiter has entered aries which is the sign of individuality so if you've been feeling like you haven't been given the credit that you deserve or uh, you know other people are favored over you all that is going to shift just be a little patient don't give in to these nightmarish tendencies of overthinking and over processing i have never seen so much air in in a in like an abundance reading right we want more pentacles we ground yourself scorpio if you believe in crystals use jasper literally this is going to be the best crystal for you use red jasper use anything that is black or red right ground yourself mahogany obsidian you can use this as well and if not just meditate meditate on your root chakra okay bring that confidence back meditate on your solar plexus and your sacral chakra as well i'll try and uh, if i remember link um a lower chakra meditation in the description box and i think it's just something that is almost like a subliminal you just need to play it for a couple of hours in the background while you're working um, and that will really help because i feel like you're over processing things right now and you're getting in your own way lighten up all right let's see sources i give you a very long lecture i'm sorry sources of love for scorpio 
you see you're stuck in your head regarding so many things regarding love as well scorpio the king of wands good to see i was feeling cold looking at this reading and finally we have some warmth oh that's too many that's way too many i'm not gonna take them there we have earth thank goodness knight of pentacles okay there's a balance there's a balance coming about just seeing your overall energy um now let's see what we have at the bottom we have the queen of pentacles that's nice we have the five of pentacles Ugh. i'm walking on eggshells in your reading scorpio and you're throwing eggs in my face we have the nine of swords the hermit five of pentacles queen of pentacles Now, the King of Wands can be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that you are dealing with. The Knight of Pentacles can be Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. These could be two different people or this could just be the energy one person is carrying. But whatever this person is doing, we will clarify. They've put you in your head. There's a lot of anxiety. The Nine of Swords is a card of nightmares. Okay. The Eight of Swords is a card of daymares, having nightmares during the day, just being stuck someone's keeping you stuck in your head we have the six of pentacles and the six of pentacles when it clarifies the eight of swords it just means for me that there wasn't enough balance in this relationship there wasn't enough equality no equal give and take you were putting in much more than you were receiving and well it can talk about breadcrumbs right breadcrumbing so it's possible that this person would give you just enough to keep you around the three of cups with the king of wands i hate talking about third party energies oh the minute i said that and i was just going to say that if i just see one three on the table i don't talk about it but i was being guided to and we have the three of pentacles and we have the seven of cups someone made you an option it's possible someone didn't prioritize you they didn't give you yeah the queen of wands someone didn't give you the well they didn't see your worth and this suddenly um i split my my readings into two days right i do six signs per day yesterday everything was all right there, there was no mention of a third party anywhere but today with you and libra there's a whole lot of it showing up it's possible my dog's barking outside pardon me okay it's possible that somebody like i said breadcrumbed you and one minute you're a friend one minute you're more than a friend one minute you're a lover one minute you're a stranger that's what i'm getting here and that's what the king of wands does right the king of wands very similarly to the knight of wands is someone who's very in and out who follows their passions but that's pretty much it why is the knight of pentacles here time to go i mean you you know you want to leave that's for sure but i want to see what this person plans to do the high priestess and the chariot pisces and cancer energy now there's water showing up right here which is good okay so i feel like this person is not functioning from a place of well passion and intimacy that's not the only thing on their mind. We have the Strength card and the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Swords. That is good. That is good to see. I feel like eventually this person does see you as, well, someone who has the potential to be there happily ever after. And with the High Priestess and the Chariot, I'm getting that there will be a little more silence for a hot minute. But very soon, that Knight of Pentacles, which is a slow energy, right? will transform into the fastest moving energy in the tarot the chariot talks about balancing not just heart and head but light and shadow as well it's possible that during whatever this is especially when you go right this time to go card when you decide to just pick yourself up and leave this toxic situation there's a realization there's a happy realization now the ace of swords is a card of honest adult conversations right there's no wishy-washy nonsense when the ace of swords shows up for once that's a good sword right 
I feel like this person is digging a little deeper and trying to understand what it is that how they have effed up. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight, but once the Knight of Pentacles comes in, the Knight of Pentacles stays. Right? This is not wishy washy energy. This is not the Knight of Wands. So I would expect a turnaround, but then again, I don't know when this turnaround is happening. Okay? Now, I was wondering why the Five of Pentacles was here. Now, you see, the Nine of Swords has showed up again. I don't think this is, well, the universe trying to tell me that it's just you right because no one can experience so many nightmares oh wow i think this is your person again we have virgo and we have more taurus virgo capricorn more taurus virgo capricorn you could be dealing with the north sign but someone is seeing you for who you are no gender in tarot just take the energy with you but the queen of pentacles wears her oxygen mask before helping other people so i feel like you finally put yourself first and because you have this person is out in the cold now you know and with the hermit card again there's isolation and because they can't feel your energy anymore they're stuck in their head so there is a mirroring that is happening here and we have the three of cups again with the ten of swords they feel that they've they've completely ruined this because see as as a water sign and i'm a pisces and cancer right so i get this and i really get along with scorpios by the way um but we always give our all in relationships i'm getting a little emotional i don't know why some of you may be really, really sad right now. <sighs> Sorry. <clears throat> we give our all in relationships, Scorpio. And I feel like you did. But when we give up, we don't turn around. You know what I mean? So I feel like this person realizes that now. They realize that they may have destroyed this to a point where it can never come back into what it was. And I feel like they miss your energy. Whatever this turnaround is, whenever it happens, it's up to you. It's up to your discretion what you want to do with it. I do see the energy shifting from wands to pentacles, which is always good. Randomly saw the devil with the wheel of fortune and the lovers at the bottom so you see my goodness that is so poetic okay i can't show you the well the figures because of censorship issues but you see how the devil has these two chained right then we have the wheel of fortune which talks about a change what is that change let me hide them again <clears throat> the devil is replaced by an angel now they're not chained and bound to each other. They've learned their lessons and they can finally come together in a happy union. Okay, so there is, um, there is a shift. It's possible that this could have felt like, you know, a karmic situation where you felt like you've known this person in a previous lifetime. Maybe you did. And maybe they had to teach you a lesson about self-preservation. And maybe you had to teach them a lesson about, well, gratitude. You know but once those lessons are learned it's it's almost like that soul contract breaks and then you can choose to be with each other not because you've been forced to be with each other you know so okay very deep reading um let's move on let's see what we have in your silver linings soul family beautiful i love this card call in your tribe you don't have to do it alone so the hermit did show up. It is possible that you may have alienated yourself when it comes to your, you know, familial bonds or your uh, friendships because you have been going through a lot. Most definitely in both career and love. I feel like you've been really stressed out. Call in your tribe, you know, lighten up, lighten up in soul family. That's perfect. So because sometimes when we're part of relationships that really consume us, we have nothing left to give to anybody else. You know what I mean? So call back your energy and give it to the people who truly love you. We have the king of pentacles. For some of you, this could be a relationship with a father or a father figure or an older brother or something like that. The knight of cups. Hmm. Ugh, the five of pentacles. Just when things are looking good, Scorpio, you put a wrench in the works for me and for yourself. 
again can't show the figure but we have the star we have the two of cups and the nine of wands with the death card and the tower and the magician and judgment and the six of cups king of cups ten i can't i can i can go on and on okay i was going to talk about friendships and family and all of that but well there's someone showing up here i don't know if this is again the past person elevating from the knight of pentacles to the king of pentacles coming in with an offer of love with the knight of cups i don't know what this is but again like i said when you draw your energy back especially if this person was showing narcissistic traits and they weren't being fed with your energy that is when they feel the lack of it and that is when people usually have an awakening and they start leveling up to your frequency right so i see bits of that happening here because well you've been giving to other people giving to the right people let's see we have the moon pisces cancer energy and the ten of wands i feel like you're not giving at all the moon is a very quiet card it is a card of secrecy and mystery and i feel like whoever this king of pentacles is again no gender in tarot you are being very mysterious and that is causing a whole lot of burdens it's possible that you know you were the you were an open book with this person okay you would tell them your day to day you would tell them your routine you would tell them what you're up to every single minute you know there there was nothing that was hidden from this person which is very rare for a scorpio right you like to keep secrets in the best way possible and i love you guys for it but i feel like uh now you you're truly living up to your plutonian energy you're keeping things quiet and for some of you it is possible that they're reaching out to your soul family to your friends or whatever to get a little information hmm i guess that is a silver lining because well um you have people who have your back and you're not giving your energy to someone who will can't really communicate to save their life page of swords yeah they're keeping an eye on you you can't make this up man the hanged man two of cups queen of pentacles that's a divine match right there now they see you as a well they're happily ever after the wheel of fortune the two of cups can't make this up there's a shift there's a shifted perspective with the hanged man my goodness why does this always happen planets are in retrograde that it does talk about returns this person sees you as a potential future partner for some of you i'm also getting that this person truly admires your family you know your family dynamics and all of that wishing that they could be a part of 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 this whole situation again they're stalking you on social media or whatever We have judgment and we have the five of pentacles. I feel like you're going to shoot this down. You're not I don't think you want this at least not right now. The three of swords. Yeah, you're going to break this person's heart exactly how they broke yours. <laughs> That's what I'm getting, Scorpio. You're hilarious. That's what I'm getting. Two of pentacles, king of wands, ace of cups, page of pentacles. You you're going to leave them questioning. You're going to leave them wanting more. And I don't think you're doing this on purpose. Okay, I'm not getting a vengeful energy here. There's a temple right next door. Pardon the bell. Uh, you're not doing this out of revenge. <clears throat> you're doing this out of self-preservation. I'm getting a desperation here, a sudden desperation to reconnect. Whew! You've made up your mind, though. we have the letter t this could be your initial could be the initial of someone you're dealing with doesn't have to be we have miracle i feel like this person is begging for a miracle no joke and again if you don't see this energy now i think you will very soon especially once these planets come back online we have a feather again so many swords so much air there's a lot of communication coming in my friend whether you like it or you don't we have gemini cancer and leo that's a beautiful progression So we have May, June, July, August. Hmm, interesting. Those months could be significant or you could have these uh, signs in your chart or your person could. But there we have it. 
slightly long reading and but i was it was intense and honestly i loved it <laughs> all right that was it i hope it helps scorpio i will see you in the next one